So greetings from Christ the King Parish in Concord, New Hampshire. I'm Father Rich, Father Richard Robers, the pastor, and welcome to Chapel Chat. This week, uh, Chapel Chat is in church uh, before the, uh, the main altar. And uh, the reason I thought that it would be good is that, first of all, Father Maurice is praying in the chapel. And I didn't want to disturb him, so I didn't want him to uh, uh, be disturbed from his prayer. But also, I thought may, maybe it's a good to start uh, a new season in a new location, at least for the first time. And that's uh, the beginning of Advent. So this coming weekend is the first Sunday of Advent. And that's usually the, uh, uh, the first Sunday after the end of the ordinary time, last liturgical year. So it's the beginning of a new liturgical year. This week, uh, tomorrow, we'll be celebrating Thanksgiving. And so we give thanks to God for all the many blessings that we've uh, been showered with as a parish community and as individuals. So I want to wish you and your family a very blessed Thanksgiving as we get together. Um, some of us will be getting together uh, remotely. We can't meet with our family because of the pandemic, but we still have so much to be thankful for. So let us remember that tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day. And then this coming weekend, starting on Saturday evening with the four o'clock mass, we begin Advent. So I brought with me uh, my little Advent wreath that I use at the rectory. Uh, this is one way that I remember Advent. Each time I go to the chapel, I try to light one of the candles to do my prayer, remember what week of Advent I'm in. And so I lit the first candle. So there are four weeks of Advent. And on the third week, we, we light the pink candle, uh, reminding us that we're getting closer to the celebration of the birth of Christ. But the first two Sundays of, uh, of Advent are really anticipation for the return of Jesus in glory. As we ended the liturgical year, uh, we heard scriptures, uh, you know, about the end times. You know, stay awake, stay awake, be, a, be attentive. Uh, the King is coming, you know, the, the Savior is coming. And that's really preparing for the end times when Jesus comes back again. And so for the first two weeks of Advent, we're really preparing for the return of the Messiah. Then the last two weeks of Advent, we start to prepare for the celebration of the commemoration of the birth of Jesus when he came the first time uh, and was born in a manger in Bethlehem. So Advent is a time of waiting, a time of welcoming a very important guest, someone very important. That's our Advent and our important guest is Jesus. And so we want to prepare for his second coming uh, in glory. And so I've, uh, I've chosen a song. I've been coaxed into singing. I love to sing, but I, 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 don't, uh, I don't do it professionally and I don't read music, so I'm always afraid uh, to sing when I'm recorded. And so I might mess up, so please bear with me. But I, I've chosen this song because it really uh, reflects on the coming of the King uh, at the end of time, the Messiah. It's entitled, Lift Up Your Heads, O Mighty Gates. So just imagine the gates being open, just these huge gates opening up for the coming of God, the coming of the Messiah, the coming of our Savior at the end of time. It's a beautiful image, huh? Lift high your heads, O ancient gates, O mighty gates. And so I'm going to do my best to offer you this song. And I do it as a prayer. I, I do this as a prayer as we pray to God and we ask the Lord to prepare us uh, to welcome him when he comes. Lift up your heads, O mighty gates, behold the King of glory waits. The King of kings is drawing near, the Savior of the world is here. O oh, bless the land, the city bless, where Christ the ruler is confessed. O oh, happy hearts and happy homes, to whom this King of triumph comes. Fling wide the portals of your heart, make it a temple set apart from earthly use for heaven's employ, adorn with prayer and love and joy. So come, my sovereign, enter in. Let new and nobler life begin. 
Thy Holy Spirit guide us on until the glorious crown be won. And so I offer this song as a prayer for us as we prepare to begin Advent. And so we look forward to seeing you online or seeing you in church as we begin the Advent season preparing for Christmas. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.